Blessings to you and peace from God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. This evening begins the holy season of Lent. It is the 40 days of the church year when we intentionally reorient ourselves and turn to face the cross. We start our journey with Jesus as he moves ever closer to death, a death that he did not deserve. The other day I was praying about what I was going to preach on this evening and I thought of this. As we receive the ashes on our forehead at the rail later this evening, we'll hear the words, Remember, O man, that thou art dust, and to dust thou shalt return. I was thinking about what it means to remember where we came from and the place where we're all ultimately going to end up. How about our lives uh, are being transformed not only by those words, but by what Jesus did on the cross, his resurrection from the grave, and his ascension into heaven. The fact that because of Jesus' act of self-sacrifice, we have received redemption and salvation from the grave. It's an awesome uh, thing to contemplate. This Lenten season, we need to focus on how we as broken and sinful people are restored to life by the one who was without sin. How we are restored to life by the one who came to this earth to, for the sole purpose of saving us all and how we are restored to life by a God who loves us more than we could ever imagine. This evening in our first reading from Joel that Doug read, we heard the Lord tell us to return to him with all our heart, with fasting, with weeping, and with mourning. To return to the Lord our God because he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love. How wonderful is our God that he sent his one and only son to die for us. How great is he to those of us who have turned our face from him, who have sinned against him time after time. In Paul's letter to the Corinthians, he calls for us to reconcile or harmonize with God, knowing full well that his servants of God will have hardships along the way. And yet, when all is said and done, we will possess everything because of what Jesus has done for us. It's God's saving power that is at work through the Holy Spirit that empowers us to press on with sincerity and patience and truthfulness. These are what our right relationships with God and with others should look like. They're based on that. This is what I, the Lenten season is about. During these 40 days, we'll focus our attention and remember that Jesus, the one without sin, was the one who bore all the sin of the world on the cross. Jesus has come to save us so we can become the righteousness of God. In, his, in this righteousness, we can share in God's faithfulness and consistency, which is ours for the taking. Such righteousness and salvation is not only fixed toward some point we can look at to the future, but it is evident in our lives today as the old has passed away and we, all things have become new. But this does not come without exertion. Tonight is the beginning of a journey. It takes effort. I pray that we, as we uh, make our Lenten journey, we'll remember the words that thou art dust. Humbling words, to be sure. I pray also that we will reimagine our walk with Jesus, that we will reflect upon our relationship with him, that we will rethink what it means to be a child of God. I pray that we will reconnect with a God who loves us so much he sent his one and only son to die. When is the time when we strip away all the frills and get at the basics of what it is to be a Christian? In this season, we are called to rediscover who we are as God's people, to face our own fears and failures with courage and dignity, fully relying on God's love and mercy. The sign of the cross that you'll wear tonight on, on your foreheads is not there just one time a year. It was there and placed on your forehead at your baptism. And it's on your forehead during healing services. We use it to remind ourselves that we belong to God. We remind ourselves that we die to sin daily and to remind ourselves that Jesus' resurrection is our future. When is the time for acknowledging that we do find ourselves in the dust sometimes? But during this season, let us be reminded of the promise of God's relationship with each and every one of us. Dearly beloved, Lent is a gift from God. A time to consider ourselves and link with God, not with outward displays, but quietly and privately, 
knowing that we are held by a loving God who can even reach down into the dust to meet us. May God bless you as you begin your Lenten journey this evening.